Hey guys, how's it going? Tonight I'm trying out the new, new setup here with my camera using a selfie stick from the rafters and my friend of mine showed me how to do that. So this way you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to uh, do some work on this cool, very cool looking Magdalena statue made from C.S. Moore. This will be the first video I'm doing this way. I've been doing just pictures on Facebook of step by step what I've done to statues and so forth. So, But this will be the first time I'm doing a actual video how to. So uh, a little history on this statue here. It's a common theme I'm going to tell you guys all the time on Facebook or YouTube that I bought these about five, six years ago. Lots of changes, but that's usually when I bought these that I'm working on, the ones I'm repairing and repainting. But when I got it back then, I was just buying statues that were damaged. My intention is repairing them. But things happened. I started repairing them, as you can see. This was cracked right here. That's why I bought it damaged. And this, these saber holsters, sword holsters, however they call them, I'm not sure exactly what they call them, but um, they're cracked, as you can see. I started repairing. I put some pins in here to match up to here. This one never actually got pinned. I need an extra small pin there, but that's got to be fixed. That's at least my worries. That gets secured onto or on this area. There's stuff coming out of here. Goes on there. Okay, that's later on. The whole objective today is I need to repaint this hood. Or this cape, I'm sorry, not this, well actually the hood too. This cape was cracked here. So I have to sand this down, refill a little more. I put pins in here, inside here and here. Can't see them obviously, but it's gonna be sand down a little more, but I can't really work on it too much like this. So I'm gonna do something drastic. I don't recommend you guys doing this unless you really wanna take some work on, but this is my statue. I'm not doing it for somebody. I'm doing it for myself, my own collection. So I'd rather experiment with my own collection than someone else's. So what I'm trying to do with this Pour this die grinder, just cut the stuff right here. I started, as you can see, I started grinding down a little bit and try and pry it off. I chipped it here a little bit, but I ran into a problem. There's a actual wire, which I figure will be going from here. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's a silver spot right there. It's actually wiring, a like armature wire that goes through here. There's probably two of them, I'm sure, to build up on here to put it in place. But it is loose quite a bit. I've been trying to wiggle it, but I'm going to crack the statue in half. So what I'm going to do is put this dying grinder with a couple different bits. I might end up using this bit right here, carved by bit, to cut through that metal. Now I'm going to record this with a program. I'm going to record it normal, then try to fast fast forward it and speed it up through the process so you don't see it. In slow motion, just regular more motion you've ever seen in speed motion. High speed, basically. So let's get to work and uh, get my safety glasses on. I got this bit on, but I think I'm going to change it right about now. Meantime, let me put a towel down. It'll cause more, da more damage to this than it already is. So, let me change this real quick. It's nice about these die grinders that you can just change them really quick and put a different bit on. Okay. So, make it a little loud, but if it speeds up, you probably won't get the, the noise from it. Okay, let's get to work and try to cut this off best I can to get this this cape off. It'll be a lot easier to paint with it out off of it. And of course, they don't just resecure it back and put some pins in there and resecure it. It's a really bad angle, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. But here it goes. Trying to hold it steady so this cape comes off and lands on this cloth here. But it's gonna be a while. The metal rod is pretty good size. It looks like it's cutting through it. Let me try to speed this up a little bit. So 
good strong wire. Say that. If anything happens in the back, any damage to the body, I can always touch it up. The body's just paint it with this tape off. Let's see if we got any looser. Oh yeah. See how much looser I got? Seems like you got looser, huh? If you're a crack, don't get too nervous. <laughs> don't want to crack it too much. Let's try this more. These quarter things are pretty cool, but the only problem is you can't change a battery on it. Oh, gotta be careful. You gotta recharge it once it dies out. So it's nice to have no wires attaching to it. It's pretty accessible. I'm just feeling like getting close. Let's try it again. Oh yeah. See that? It's a lot more loose now. I'm not be surprised if it comes off real soon. Cause I'm hoping. <laughs> this fun. Oh, I'm blowing out. I got a blowgun right here, so. Get a compressor kick on. You might barely hear it. It's like a refrigerator. Love this compressor. Silent Air 20A compressor. Wasn't cheap, but well worth it. Just saw it move. Yes, success. All right, so here we go. So that's not too bad. Let me put it back in the stand here. So it was just one wire, I guess. Not too worried about how messed up it is because actually I actually didn't even cut this. The rod is what I need to cut. And there it is. Now, I'm obviously going to take that out. I'm going to put two pins in there. Not go too far in there, but I'm going to cement them in with um, some, um, I can't think of it now, magic sculpt. <laughs> and let them sit overnight. And then same thing here. Build this up right here. Drill two holes in here. Let it all set up. Get all those pins ready to make sure it fits. And then I can do the painting. So then I just slide it in place and glue it. But I'm going to take the rest of that rod all the way out. This way I can paint all this now. Get that rod out of there. It's not be two rods, but I guess it's just one. Which is good news because a lot easier than trying to take it all out. So as you can see, that's how they set it up. There's no rod here, there's a rod here that I cut. So that after they make the statue, they build it. The pin is on there and the rod is just right in there. Cool. It's nice to see how these take them apart. It kind of looks pretty different without the cape on, huh? That's okay. Now here's the part I was telling you about earlier. It's chipped in the bottom. So as I got this, it was glued here for some reason. You see the black transfer from the, the foot, which appears to be right over here. There's some glue here. Someone tried to glue it before to keep it moving. But once I secure it in there and get all lined up properly, it shouldn't move anymore. That'll be the last step though. One of the last steps I just put it pop it in place and that's it. Alright, so I'm gonna um Get to sand it down more. Start building this up a little more. And let's get some epoxy. I'm not even worried about really laying on the bench because it feels dirty. First off, we put the charger. 
Blaster. Grinder. So what I use for that is this epoxy sculpt. Comes in two part. Point part A and part B. What's really cool about this stuff is you mix it together. What you need. I don't need that much because it's pretty level here. I want to put a little fill in there. There's some spots here that. See, this is the old clay. It wasn't holding very well. You can see. So that's got to come out of there. Yeah, it's just flaking off. This is before I learned about epoxy sculpt. So I'm glad I'm doing this now. <laughs> okay. So the epoxy sculpt, let me get equal amounts. Part B and Part A. Kind of size them up. Oh, hang on a bit. Run away, epoxy sculpt. About the same size. Maybe a little more of this for the red. About the same size, and you just. I'm sorry. Here you go. Just push it together until it's a uniform color. You cut this up so nothing falls in there. Mix it up. It's all one solid color. Get the brush out here. I see there's still some gray in there, so I just mix it up a little better. So that's pretty sticky. But they recommend that you mix it up and let it sit for a few minutes. A little stick to your fingers. It has a little container of gold bond powder. It's a travel size I use in case I don't want to stick to something and put the powder on there. It won't stick to it then. Great for setting stuff in. Okay. It's pretty uniform. Get a small piece of it. Also with water, use some water on there to smooth it out. Let's see if you guys can see that. Turn this down a little bit. There we go. No sense if you guys can't see what I'm doing, right? Take a little bit. Like I was saying before, it sticks to your finger, so. Some people wear gloves when you do this, but I don't do that. Kind of smear it up like this. Get the brush. With the water, it kind of makes it more liquidy. Actually, let's see. Get another brush and use this brush here. It's a little easier. There we go. I fill the center up here. Sticks everywhere you, but where you want it to sometimes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Some more water. Can't make too too much. And you smooth it out with the paintbrush or a little um, other tool. I think I got that tool here. Let's see. Use one of these also, like for clay, for modeling clay. That works too. If you wet it, it works best. And sometimes you just need the finger. 
to get the contour over there. Okay, one more spot. So that I have an extra epoxy sculpt, I'll use it somewhere else. Because stuff can get expensive after a while. It's pretty cool. Mold it in there. A little bit of water. Smooth it out. There we go. And of course, we're going to sand it down and smooth it the rest of the way. It's not going to be 100%. Once you sand it, I'm going to smooth it down. Get it primered. While we have some more epoxy sculpt left, I'm going to fix this little spot right here. I have a little left. So let's put that on there. That stuff's pretty sticky. I'm still learning about this stuff, how to maneuver it properly. So. I'm going to take care of this later on. I'll sand that down. Right now, I'm going to build this up. Fix that one spot. Okay, so. The goal right now is just to fill it in, not worry about it being 100% perfect. A little sanding, make it smooth, thin it out here. That's all I'm gonna do with this, you kind of fill it in. So it's good to add a little more, you go sand it down. Then not enough, because then you have to add more and it's more downtime. Okay. So that's that. I'm gonna pause the video here and now. Uh, I let this stuff dry because this size is okay. Don't need any more pax, 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 yeah. epoxy sculpt on this side. No tongue tight. Nothing else damaged here. It'll be all in primer anyway. I want to reprimer it all and repaint it. It'll be a lot easier this way. You can mask off the edges of the black and then mask off the red. Do I do the black? In the meantime, I can build this up with magic sculpt. So I'm going to pause the video for now and get the magic sculpt out. And hang on one second. Okay, so we're going to continue with the magic sculpt. I bought this small container as a magic sculpt. Hardener and resin to try it out. Because the first time I bought this to try it out when I first started doing these, these kits about a year ago. But it's basically the same concept as the epoxy sculpt. There's two different types of um, um, compounds. Part A and Part B. One's a resin, one's the hardener. This is the resin, this is the hardener here. Same amounts, 50% of each, equal amounts. So it's really repairing right here, I just gotta get a little bit. The same thing as the epoxy sculpt, like I said before. Equal amounts, equal amounts here. Oop. I need more of this. Try to mix the stuff in there, you wipe your hands. If you go to there to there, it'll start hardening up in there. The only time you'll mix them together if you're making them for um, repair. That's about right now. Different shape, about the same size. So you mix it together, like so. What's nice about this, it could be sanded down, drilled through. It's pretty cool, good stuff. You know, when you start off with stuff like this, you buy a little container, try it out, see if you like it. 
if we go buy a four ten pound tub. So you know what software's great. I'll be next to my order some I'll be getting the same size tub as the packs of scope, two tubs each. Two pounds I should say. Alright, so we're gonna take a little bit here. Try to get some rough edges of surface here, so it's good to have rough so it's something for the stuff to grab onto. I'm just gonna fill that in. Get as close as we can to re sculpt it. Once again, if I fill too much or a little over, I can always sand it down. I have to be drilled through anyway because I drill holes here and here for the rods. Actually, probably just one big rod here would be good. Because once I put it in place, I'll put a magic sculpt inside the back of our neck here. You guys can see that. Tilt up a little more. There we go. Put some magic sculpt inside here and the rod in here and push it in place. And barbed band it all in place so it stays and dries. Make sure it's all secured. And that dry overnight. This is once it's all painted and push it in there and put it in place. That'll be one of the last steps. And actually, that will be the last step because everything else will be put together at that point. She'll be touched up. The cape will be painted, put a coated. There. That's about right. As good as new. So I'm gonna let this dry off um, up for about 24 hours, or maybe at least uh, till tomorrow morning. And we'll see where we're at in the morning. So we got some uh, some stuff in here. Black scalp is drying. It's really starting to get a little hardened up now. But it'll take a little while. You can't stand it now, so. All right, we'll leave it at that. And I'm going to finish drilling out the back of our neck right here. Drill that out. Get the wire rod out of there. It doesn't long serve any purpose. Now work on the sword holders. Sleeves. Get that squared away so once I just when I get it done, I just put them on here before I put the cave on. It'll be a lot easier, all right, guys. Part B will come up eventually in the next few days or so. Thanks for watching.